if the college baseball tournament were to start after week 12, right now, of the regular season, these are the teams that we think have what it takes to make it to Omaha, or at least the teams that we think have the best chance of making it there. Spoiler alert for, for me, my picks may not have changed at all from last week, but uh, you'll have to see. <laughs> at the, uh, I guess, number one seed or something like that, Tennessee, even after a bad week, you can't really dock them that much because of how good their season has been, uh, and one bad weekend isn't uh, a reason to completely change uh, my opinion. And it could just be a down week in bad weather conditions, but we'll have to see uh, over these next few weeks coming up. Yeah, top two spots in this eight for Omaha. I got the top two teams in our rankings, Tennessee, Oregon State, both uh, trying to battle for that number one spot, but uh, certainly look like the top two teams in the country right now. And that's, that's why we see them potentially making it to Omaha at the end of this year. Yeah, I also have... Oregon State as well. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty obvious pick. Looks like they're one of the hottest teams in the nation, if not the hottest, and uh, shows that if a pitching staff does not walk batters at all, you will always have a good chance to win a game no matter what, even if your batters are doing nothing. Yep, yeah, crazy, crazy how well that pitching staff has done this year. And next up, the other OSU, Oklahoma State for me showing that they're the class of the Big 12 still and uh, look to be the only team right now in that conference that I am confident can make a deep run in the tournament. Yeah, yep, right behind these top two teams, we have another two teams that are very talented and look like they could vie for one of those top spots at the end of this year, but have just been super consistent this year with Oklahoma State and Arkansas continuing to win series and play well. Uh, certainly a scary te scary teams to face in the postseason, and that's why we see them making it to uh, Omaha at the end of the year. Yep, also have Arkansas in that spot for me. Uh, if they can figure out offensively, especially uh, they're even more scary than they already are. And uh, another very consistent team that I decided to put in and keep in from last week is Virginia Tech. They've uh, put together an insane run since mid-March. Uh, they haven't lost a series, so they've shown an uh, incredible amount of consistency over that time. Yep, right here we got back-to-back -back ACC teams, Virginia Tech and Miami. Class of the ACC right now, both playing very well. Virginia Tech, like you said, just steamrolling teams, not losing any series. So uh, super impressive stuff from both of these teams, and look like they could be the two ACC teams that make it to Omaha. Yeah, especially because it seems like all of Miami's struggles this uh, year have been on the road, and they're in a very good spot to be a top eight seed. So uh, that road struggle isn't really as much of a problem if they can completely avoid that. But after that, uh, I have Stanford, the second Pac-12 team, have a very, very potent offense if they can get everything clicking with pretty much everyone in the lineup being able to just crank one out of the yard. Uh, and they have two very, very good starting pitchers in Alex Williams and Quinn Matthews. So if you can ride those guys, uh, they could be in for a very good tournament. Yes, I did drop Gonzaga out of my eight for Omaha this week, replacing them with Stanford. Like you mentioned, back on the right track, got two solid pitchers and Coming into the year, they were top five team in the country because we knew how talented this roster was and they had the experience, just made it to Omaha this past year. So uh, when they're back on the upward trends like this, it's easy to see them making it there again. Definitely. And you mentioned Gonzaga. That is actually my last team that I'm putting in, uh, staying the same as last week. As we have said before, uh, previous weeks, this team is built for a weekend series. So if they can get past that first week of the postseason, they have a great, great chance of winning a Super Regional with that pitching staff. Uh, there are several teams that I thought about putting in this spot over Gonzaga, those primarily being Texas A&M and LSU. But since I had Gonzaga in last week and they didn't play any games, so they didn't prove that they didn't deserve to, to have this spot, uh, I'll keep them in unless there is a big shift coming up. 
Yeah, and the team I already had in last week that I kept the same was Texas A&M. Uh, team Asher was considering, but they've just been hot as of late. Won a series against South Carolina this weekend. Uh, came back from one game. I believe they were down 7-0 at one point. Uh, impressive stuff from them down the stretch right now. We'll see if they're able to close out the year and stay as hot as they are, but certainly looking like a team that is steamrolling and is looking to continue to do so heading into the postseason. Yeah, definitely a team that is dangerous and has been very, very hot recently. So a team to look out for that could make a deep run from any position that they're in. But uh, yeah, with that, that is the uh, end of our eight for Omaha. All those eight picks didn't miss anybody. If, uh, if you think there are other teams that should potentially be in those top eight, just let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and listening. If you enjoyed, we would really appreciate a like and subscribe for more weekly college baseball content. 